Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Girl Boss Beauty community. I'm Stacey Elaine. Let's get dressed for a networking lunch. Now, you know, as a, those of us who love putting looks together, sometimes you have a look in your head and you just have to execute it to see if it'll work out. And that's what we're going to do today. But also on the bed, I have a plan B. So the plan A is surrounded around the Madewell jeans that I just bought, the perfect wide lit jean that I showed you in the last videos um, when I showed you my fall winter haul are new in closet pieces. And I just have this look in my head because I need to wear shoes that I bought last year that I've never worn. And I need to be able to say they weren't a regret. I just hadn't had the looks yet. So we're going to put this look together and see how it works. It's a networking lunch with a friend of a friend. Very cool. Not super professional. And I am going to run errands after this. So I just want to make sure I'm cute to go outside. So let's put look one together and see if I need to follow on this plan B. Look one started from the feet up, the ground up literally with these nine west heels. They have maybe a two inch uh, heel height. I bought these in two colors last year. I love the suede. I, I love the low heel. Not really a fan of the ankle strap. I don't know why I went for these shoes like this. They were on super duper sale. I do know why. I, they were on super duper sale. But they look like this. And I thought, okay, we're, we're not wearing them professionally. We have never worn them. So let's try to wear them casually. So I'm going to pair them with this Janet Jackson t-shirt that I also love this T right here. Okay, so now you know the grounding basics of the look, why we're doing this, let's get it together. Okay, these made well jeans are so good. Like I really love them. Like I said, I would think you need to size down in these. They are, I got a size 28 and I'm normally a size eight, just for reference. But there is no gap. This is what impresses me. There's no gap, none. Like the butt to back ratio on these is perfection. Okay, let's put on our T. All right, so let's see this tuck it in for a clean look tuck 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 it in okay now i can actually wear these shoes in the house because they've never been worn let's try to put these on and see if they are the right heel height for these This, this is perfect. This, this is, this is good. This is good. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me show you guys. This is good. Like, I actually feel like I need to get these jeans in a longer length so I can wear them with higher heels as well. But this length is perfect for what I'm wearing today. This is such a Stacy look, like such a Stacy look. So there are two options for the blazer, but I think I already know. I'll go with this black one. Now it is, oh, it's February you guys, but it's already hot in Houston. Oh my gosh, it's like 82 degrees today. And so all that means is it's gonna be very warm outside. So I'm gonna wear this t-shirt, but inside any building, it's gonna be frigid, just so, so cold. So I need a jacket and I'm gonna wear this blazer. Did not zip in my pants all the way. So I like this. We are not doing 
a button up. We're gonna keep it casual. We're gonna pull the sleeves up a bit here. I definitely need some accessories, but the purple with this pink and blue does look good. The other option I had, just so you guys can see, because this is my one state blazer from Nordstrom, but I have this Philip Lim blazer that I also thought about wearing, but this is too much, too much color. The pink and the purple is too much. Okay. My quintessential cool girl bag, the envelope bag by Yves Saint Laurent. It's gonna be the bag of the day. Let me accessorize and then I'll show you my final look. Also put on a little more makeup. I love it. Definitely giving me the look I wanted. One of the errands we are running today is to go to the Black Beauty Supply to get us some braiding hair so we can get our hair rebraided tomorrow. So don't judge me by the front of my braid, sis. We getting this fixed tomorrow. But Black Gucci Frames, uh, CZ Encrusted Hoops. I put on some of the motivational bracelets that I showed you guys last year. Um, smartwatch, Janet Jackson T, one state blazer, made well jeans. And I'm finally wearing these outside. To me, this is the perfect, perfect length to wear with these. I love how the purple heel is just a little bit is peeking through. But this is my look. I'm not wearing a belt because I just feel like it's not necessary. So kept the makeup minimal, but definitely we put in work. I even did purple eyeliner. I did purple eyeliner and I don't want to be late. So I'm leaving right now. Thanks for getting dressed with me. You don't have to do that much to be stylish. You just have to play in your clothes. Let me know what you think about me finally wearing these purple heels. How did I do? How did I do? I hope you are blessed to be a blessing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is a better view of my very soft, almost non-existent makeup, but I use that hourglass stick, vanish stick foundation. So definitely she's giving full coverage and our look. And we are on time. We're actually earlier than the person I'm meeting. So I feel really good about that. <laughs> Someone just said my shoes are cool. Oh my gosh. They are like, I love your shoes. This is why you need to take your stuff out and wear them outside. They're really good and should not be kept in our closets. So the look is looking.